appointment as your honorary Air Commodore has given me very real pleasure, for it has established a personal link between myself and the Royal Auxiliary Air Force, of which I shall always be very proud. In particular, I am glad to be so closely associated with the City of London Squadron, which is the senior squadron of the Royal Auxiliary Air Force and has already been in existence for nearly a quarter of a century. It is perhaps natural that of those 25 years, the years of war should awake the most vivid memories. Certainly, 600 Squadron has been second to none in its record of service and achieved great distinction as a night fighter squadron in the Royal Air Force, claiming successes not only in the Battle of Britain, but also in North Africa and the Mediterranean. I think that all of us who lived in and around London during the war have a very special feeling towards the squadrons who defended us and a great pride in their exploits. We must always be grateful to those who served in the squadron as peacetime volunteers before the war. For by that service, they laid the foundations on which later triumphs were based. I am indeed pleased that all of you on parade today also believe in giving voluntary service to your country. For it helps to consolidate the victory we won in war and is a bulwark against the threat to peace. And also, I hope, gives you that spice of adventure and fun which makes life worth living. I'm glad too that this visit is taking place at Biggin Hill, for it is a place which will always be remembered as one of the famous fighter stations in the Battle of Britain. The, the finger of history has written many pages of gallantry here and in the skies above our head. So my first words to you as your honorary Air Commodore are to pay tribute to the achievements of this splendid squadron. You have a great tradition now, a tradition linking you to that ancient city whose name you bear and in whose defense so many of your comrades fought and fell. I'm sure from what I've seen today that it's in good hands. 